Speaking at the meeting, Education's Executive Director, Sanet Siankam, re-emphasized that all stakeholders in the education sector should comply with a new curriculum which she says aims to improve the education system and outcome. Stiankam, however, acknowledges that the change of curriculum is a resource-intensive process which requires more schools' infrastructure and teaching material. I want to talk about change. It's always considered two ways, as a risk or a threat to the order, the autonomy, the stability of the teacher. Change can be seen as a new opportunity that will allow us to reflect and improve the status quo. And that is why the call was made in December 2019 for Africa to reform its curriculum. She added that the curriculum implementation is a process that requires a collaborative effort towards the betterment of the teaching and refining teachers' delivery methods. On his part, the special advisor to the governor of Ochozenjupa region emphasized that efforts and support is needed from all the relevant education stakeholders to ensure that the new curriculum delivers positive outcome. Therefore, I am confident that a new revised school curriculum truly reflects good education that plays a crucial role in building a bright future for our children in line with the pillars of Harampe Prosperity Plan. School boards have also been urged to go an extra mile as regards to schools management. And one thing is that um, you know, we don't have to, to mix business, personal business or private business with education. Um, we, we have to stick together, we have to make sure that teachers are in classes, we have to make sure that the learners are in classes, we have to make sure that we contribute 100% to the new curriculum. There are 84 schools in the Ochodonjupa region with 1,691 educators. Gariye Kawari, NBC News, Oshiwarongo.